In this video, you will be learning how to migrate your Spring Boot applications running on version 2 to version 3 using a library called as OpenRewrite. We'll be taking a sample project which is running on version 2.6 and we'll migrate it to Spring Boot 3.1. Okay, so let's start by going into more details about what is OpenRewrite. So I'm at the website of OpenRewrite documentation at docs.openrewrite.org. And here you can see that uh, OpenRewrite is a library which allows us to run large-scale automated uh, source code refactoring on our projects. So it helps us in migrating from different framework versions and also applying vulnerability patches and API migrations. So um, this is very helpful when you are working with a lot of services in your projects where you can apply the uh, source code migrations easily. Open Rewrite works uh, by making changes to your source code using something called as lossless semantic trees. So which represent our source code shortly, which is shortly called as LST. So what Open Rewrite does is it travels through this LST using a visitor design pattern and uh, it applies certain uh, things called as recipes, which will make our required changes we want. So you can see a small example here where we are using this assert true method from the assert class uh, from JUnit. So as this is a static method, you don't need to provide the class name before this method declaration. You can use the st static imports. So to do this uh, refactor automatically, we can use uh, a recipe called as use static import which will you know, scan through the source code and find all the static methods and uh, does the static import automatically. So this is one of the example of what you can do with uh, open rewrite. So uh, let's see how to do this in our sample Spring Boot project. So I'll be using the Spring Reddit clone application. This is uh, one of the application uh, which I've developed uh, in a tutorial. You can find this link for the tutorial in the description section. This application is uh, running on version 3, but uh, we also have a branch which is running on Spring Boot 2.x. So you can just go through the, you can just download this project and go to the project, go to the branch Spring Boot 2.x. And here you can find that if you go to the pom.xml, you can see that we are using the version 2.6.2. .2. So let's download this project and migrate it to the version 3.1. All right. So now I have uh, downloaded the project to my machine and, op and opened it in IntelliJ IDE. So let's go through the sample project once before trying to migrate it to Spring Boot version 3. So we have this form.xml uh, where we can see that we are using the version Spring Boot 2.6.2 .2 and we are running on version Java 1.8. And uh, we have different um, uh, dependencies like the Spring Boot Starter Data JPA, Spring Boot Mail dependencies which helps us to send emails from our application, the Spring Boot Security, the Spring Boot Starter Web and uh, we are connecting to a MySQL database. That's why we have this MySQL connector Java dependency and we also have the dependencies for Lombok and some dependencies for TESS, right? We also have the dependencies to enable the OAuth to resource server capabilities in our project and uh, we also have some dependencies to uh, enable the time leaf templates and also to map the objects using MapStruck. Finally, we are also using um, Spring Fox to document our uh, REST APIs. This is a bit old. Uh, we can use uh, Open API instead of Spring Fox to document the REST APIs. But as this is uh, an old project, we won't be making these changes. We will be only concentrating on changing the version of, of Spring Boot from 2.6 to 3.1. So I'm going to open the documentation of Open Rewrite one more time. And if you just scroll down to the end, you can see that under the next steps, uh, we have the link to set up our project and running recipe Piece, right so I'm just going to click on this link and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to step number two where we can add the open rewrite maven plugin to our project so we can make changes to our source code using the maven plugin from open rewrite so I'm just going to copy this plugin information and go to my form.xml and scroll down until I find the plugin section and just I'm going to paste the plugin information here and after adding the plugin information, we need to add some more information on uh, the recipe we want to run as part of the plugin. So for that, I'm going to go back to the documentation and I want to activate a recipe, right? So to activate a recipe, I can just copy this configuration part 
uh, here and I'm going to go inside my ID again and I'm going to paste this recipe. So this recipe is actually is used to order the imports. So if you have uh, imports, um, so order the imports. So I don't want to run this recipe. What I want is to run the Spring Boot migration so that I'm going to go back to the documentation and search for upgrade Spring Boot Spring Boot and uh, you can see that we already can see a result called migrate to Spring Boot 3.1. So I'm going to oh, click on this link and just you can see that this link is used to upgrade to Spring Boot 3.1. You can just scroll down and you can see the Maven configuration. Um, so one thing you can do is you can completely copy this plugin information. So make sure to copy the only the plugin tag and go back to our IDE and just replace this plugin with the new plugin information and here you can see that we are using the recipe upgrade Spring Boot 3.1 and we added a dependency to run this recipe which is rewrite Spring. So rewrite Spring will bring in all the capabilities of uh, migrating the Spring Boot application uh, to a project. So by adding this dependencies, I think we are good to go. So as I'm using IntelliJ IDEA to download this dependency, I'm going to click on the force uh, load Maven changes icon so that it load Maven will download all the dependencies required. And once this is done, I'm going to open the Maven tab here and you can see that once the uh, once the Maven downloaded the plugin, you should see something called as rewrite here under the plugin section and I'm going to expand this here and you can see the different options this is which is provided by this plugin. So the one of the option is called as rewrite dry run. So what this will do is it will um, just scan through your application and it will do a simple dry run and then you can you know verify what are the changes this project this plugin is going to do to a project. So just click on this dry run plugin and you can see that will first try to scan our project uh, using this rewrite maven plugin. So now you can see that the dry run phase is started and uh, it is using the active recipes upgrade spring boot 3.1. It will take some time to scan through the project because it is like a um, reasonably big project than the sample hello world projects you find. So it will take some time to you know, scan and uh, apply the changes. We will come back once the changes are being applied. Alright, so the plugin took exactly one minute to complete uh, the execution and uh, you can see that uh, the dry run phase has identified the changes which needs to be applied and it automatically created a patch file under the target folder. You can see that if you go inside the target rewrite you can see a rewrite.patch file which is generated by open rewrite. Uh, this contains all the changes that will be made uh, as part of the migration. If you want to know what changes the plugin will do beforehand, you can run the dry run phase and you can go and scan this uh, patch file if you like or else uh, you can just run the you know, uh, rewrite run phase which will take the patch file and apply it to the source code. So this will also take some time. So let's come back after the execution is completed. So the plugin execution took 53 seconds this time and let's see what are the changes it uh, made. Uh, I'm going to open the git commit section here and you can see that there are quite a bit of changes done to our project. So the first one if you want to see is the pom.xml file. So let's right click and go and click on show diff. All right. So the first thing uh, you can see that the version is changed from 2.6.2 to 3.1.3 and our Java version is upgraded from Java 8 to Java 17 because Java 17 is a prerequisite to uh, migrate your applications to Spring Boot 3. So if you just scroll down, uh, you can find that it also added a dependency called JAXP runtime. This is one of the dependencies it identified that our project needs and added it automatically. This is something nice because um, usually if you're doing the migration manually, then you will find some error when running the application and you will do some search in Stack Overflow and you will in and Google and you'll find out that, okay, you have to add this dependency and then it takes some time for you to no research and then understand the error and then fix the error. By having open rewrite, um, you can also automatically add this, apply these changes. Uh, the, so the next change is the change for the MySQL connector. You can see that from group ID MySQL, it is changed to com.mysql and the artifact ID is renamed from MySQL connector Java 
to MySQL connector J. And the next change is going to be for the Jakarta mail API. Uh, one of the main changes in Spring Boot 3 is the migration of uh, the Java X from Java X to Jakarta namespace. So for that reason, uh, the plugin has automatically added the Jakarta.mail API dependencies because as we are sending some emails from our application. So the next change is going to be the change to the Maven compiler plugin. So it also automatically updated the compiler plugin from 3.5.1 to 3.6.2 and it also replaced the old way of defining the Java version in the compiler plugin. We used to do that using the source and target parameters, uh, target tags. From the latest Java versions, you can just provide a tag called as release and you can just provide the Java version here. So there is no need to define two parameters inside the compiler plugin. So this is for the pom.xml, the changes inside the pom.xml. Now let's go to the source code files. So let's go through the auth controller first and you can see that it mainly migrated from the package Java X to Jakarta. So you can see that the, this is the main change which is applied across all the source files because just there is not because the source code itself is not using old APIs. So that's why the you can majority of the files you can see that the main change is the change of the package from Java X to Jakarta. You can just go through uh, the files and you can find the same change here. But one notable change is with the security configuration. If you just check the differences in the security configuration, you can see that uh, it automatically has migrated the security configuration to the latest 3.1 security configuration. So from 3.1, uh, we have to provide uh, the with defaults uh, method parameter uh, inside uh, the security configuration code. So this is uh, done automatically for us. And uh, it's also changed the method name ant matchers to request matchers. This is also nice. And uh, for and one thing we have to um, understand is open rewrite cannot do all the migration, complex migration. It has some limitations. The main principle of open rewrite is to do less invasive code changes. So if uh, they doubt that, if they have some doubt that um, the change may break something in your application, so they, they simply won't do the change and will add the comment here. As you can see that we, uh, you can see a comment was added, uh, which asks us to migrate this authentication manager bin manually. And it also provides a link to the Spring Boot documentation where it contains information about how to migrate your Spring security uh, configuration changes. So this plugin helps us to have a good starting point in doing the migrations. Um, again, uh, we have to uh, also do the uh, some migrations manually by removing this uh, deprecated web security configurer adapter and replacing with the security filter chain. So unfortunately, this change uh, is pretty complex. So the, we can't expect the open rewrite to do this change automatically for us. But this is a nice starting point uh, where we can you know, start and do the migration, rest of the migration ourselves.